Okay, so this is my video entering the Simon the Magpie circuit bending competition 2018. I've had a look around, see if I can find any toys, and I can't really find any old toys, I think we must have thrown them out. Um, but I do have an old pedal that I don't use anymore, uh, Behringer Ultra Chorus. So I've never done circuit bending before, but I'm going to give it a go with this pedal and see what I can get out of it. So I'll show you that now. Alright, so I've already taken the pedal apart and I've put it in this box, so obviously they're the sort of parts that make up the casing of the pedal. They're mostly plastic so it should be quite easy to drill and then the bit that makes it sort of heavy is this metal base. Uh, this is the circuit, so it's mostly, it's mostly SMD parts, you can see all the surface mount chips and stuff on there and then there's a few uh, through hole capacitors as well. Uh, I've literally never done circuit bending before, I kind of think the main rules are just probably don't go too near the power socket and I'm going to start with trying these chips and then I might try some other points as well, maybe the potentiometers and stuff, see if I can add some other stuff to it. Uh, and then I'm thinking if I, if I do add any switches and potentiometers probably the best place is to send the wires through this hole because this is for the battery but I'm not going to use the battery and then drill into the front panel here um, so yeah I'll see and that should probably fit where the battery is along this top bit so yeah I'll try a few different things and see what I can get to fit okay so <coughs> I've got a little setup here I've got my loop pedal going into the circuit board into my little lamp um, and I've got some switches and little jack cables here um, so I'm just going to start prodding things and seeing what happens so I've got two loops, I've got a sort of chilled out loop on this one um, sounds like this uh, and then on bank two I've got more so I can try out both of them uh, and see what I can get. I'm going to start with the more chilled out one, see what I can do with that. So what I've done now is I've soldered two wires to this potentiometer and three to this switch. Um, the bending points I've found are, there's a few that make weird noises and oscillate and stuff but they don't let any of the guitar signal through and as I've got the modular synth for making weird noises and drones and stuff I want to try and keep this like a proper pedal. I know it's not exactly the stupid bending battle, but I still wanted to enter it just to kind of get involved and stuff. So I found two which make different drive sounds. There's like a sort of really heavy fuzz sound and a sort of more overdrivey sound. So I think what I'm going to do is have this as a gain control, which is like a send from the point, and then this to switch between the two different points so you can have the two different drive points. And then I may also wire another switch up to I found two points on the back which uh, sort of increase the depth of the chorus so it really pitch bends just a little bit more so I might also put that on the switch so I've drilled three holes in the front of this and I can pretty crudely but I can pop these through there and it should look pretty cool
So uh, this is the finished pedal. Um, I sort of very crudely drilled some holes in the front of it for the um, for the potentiometer in the switch. I drilled one extra hole because I was going to put another switch in, but I didn't end up doing it in the end. Uh, you can probably tell this is my first circuit bend because not everything went to plan. Um, the place where I drilled these meant that you can't push down the pedal section anymore so you can't switch it on and off but to be honest the button it's just a tiny little button that switches it on and off so I, I may just mount a proper switch on the front at some point and do it like that other than that it does work how I wanted it to work I've got two distortion modes and then uh, my other little mistake was I wired this potentiometer backwards uh, so this is no gain and that's all the gain um, the other thing to know is it's really really loud so I've put it through this boost which I can actually use to sort of attenuate it a little bit so at some point I'll probably add um, a vo another pot which is a volume control so I can lower the volume of it so the sort of driest sound I can get is this mode which is actually the more intense mode uh, with the gain on zero it still adds a tiny bit of clipping because uh, this is a completely clean amp but this is what it sounds like um, obviously you can add more gain with this this is where I think that it's also increased the depth because this was a really subtle effect before whereas if I put the depth and the rate up a bit the depth's on full but this is what it sounds like Possibly with no gain it's the same, but it adds even, it seems to really, really go back and forth once you um, start upping the gain. This other mode, for some reason, basically disables the chorus effect. So even with these on full, if you listen, there's no chorus. It also uh, filters out some of the high end, so you, it's always quite bassy. Uh, this is a slightly lower level of distortion, so I'll just put up the distortion of it. So it's quite a, I, quite, I think that actually sounds like quite a good distortion, it's very clear. Uh, I'll put it on full. And then the other side has even more distortion and you can also use the chorus effect. So I'll put the distortion back down and switch to that. So if I put them on zero, um, <laughs> you still get some weird uh, background noise once you start to hide the gain up. I don't know if you can hear that there. Uh, and this tone control also works, so you can um, sort of alter the distortion a bit. So I'll put it on full distortion with no chorus and uh, mess with the tone a bit. <laughs>
considering this is a chorus pedal, I think that's a pretty good amount of gain. Um, and I'll start adding in some of this chorus. It sounds more like a vibrato when it's distorted. It's like it hasn't got the clean signal in there at all. Uh, you also get these weird noises. Uh, but your guitar drowns them out. adding the filter effect on um, this bass synth one now um, on top of what we've already got so I'll get it fairly as dry as I can again so you can hear what it sounds like <laughs> Yeah, so uh, that's my first attempt at circuit bending. Certainly a basic thing, just turning the chorus into a fuzz. But I hope to do more in the future. And, and I might do more with this in another video, so if you subscribe, um, I might see more of it in the future, depending on what I get time for. So, yeah, thanks for watching.